Hi, and welcome to another Tablets Glass Emporium YouTube video. Today we're looking at these, which are these frit ball jewelry ideas. And um, they're not finished jewelry pieces. We haven't had quite time to do that, and we want to get out to you today because it's the last day um, of Digital Resources Jewelry Month. Um, so the, the idea is to make using frit balls is to make these tactile pieces of jewelry, which have got a lot of texture making little frit balls and some frit ball marini um, and, and today I'm going to show you how to make these. So now we've made the frit balls, I'm going to turn it into some jewellery. So I've chosen a nice, um, this one I want to choose a kind of complementary colour. You could also choose a, um, a colour that kind of um, contrasts, um, if that's what the look you're going for instead. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of gel glue down to hold all the balls in place easily. I'm working on a cloth just because these are a little bit wet. I'm first going to put down the rows I, I made and then I'm getting the frit balls that's quite hard with the smaller ones to work out which way up is up really the, they are completely balls but I'm basically going to cover the whole of this area with frit balls now I'm, at the moment it's looking like quite a lot in rows and I don't really want it to look like it's in rows I want it to sort of look kind of like random pearls, so I'm going to try and make sure I choose ones of different sizes. Um, I've got more frit balls and I could put a second one on as well, but I think that's, this one's a little bit big and I might use it in another project. But it's great how these roses, this is an XL rose, looks um, once it's turned into a frit ball. Um, and just making sure that the bottoms of these have got, you can see there's sometimes a bit of residue left on. So I'm just wiping them on the cloth, using some larger and some smaller ones. Um, remember, if you leave the residue on, you're going to have issues that the glass won't want to stick the, um, to each other because there'll be kiln wash in between. That one looks like it's got a bit of residue left on it. Um, so I'm going to fill up this and we can have a look how it is once it's done. So with this one, I've driven, drawn around the piece of um, blue 2mm turquoise. I put a bit of glue down and... I'm going to put, um, I'm not sure I've got enough of these to cover both top and bottom completely. Now again, um, I've got to watch out for the, that I'm clearing any um, residue from the firing below. Um, and I want to make sure that, that I'm almost putting the frit balls down so that the, the flat side of them is facing up. So if there's a little bit of residue, it will be trapped between the glass and not be showing on the finished piece. But that might be a little bit hard um, to do all over with the small ones. Um, so I'm more going for a, sort of a slightly dotty themed piece with this one, rather than a fully covered piece. Sorry, I'm trying to clear off. It's hard to see. I had soaked these and maybe I should have sandblasted them, but uh, it's hard to get the residue off at times. Then when I've got a good layer, and I need to make sure I'm going kind of to the edges as well, I'll probably put a few more on, I'm going to put this on top, and then I'm going to do the same on this layer. Um, so here, you, I actually decided to fill the whole thing with, um, with frit balls, I had enough. So, and then I'm putting this on top with more frit balls in it, and it's all going to tack these together, I've just got to make sure 
the footballs are on it. Um, it's going to be kind of texturally nice. It's also my kind of thing about liking um, jewellery that's double sided. Um, so once it's all tacked together, I think we'll try and drill a hole. Um, here's this one. They're quite tricky to pick up because this is tricky. I've got to say, we had a few rude words happening while we were doing it because it's tricky to get them all on there. Um, but I think this is a really pretty way of making a piece of jewellery that's you know not using up very much marini at all, and you get a really kind of great little piece. So we're also going to do a couple with 96, show you how those are, um, get them in the kiln. I'm, you know, I love just using these few little marini. I think it really adds a bit to this piece, makes it kind of more interesting than just being frit balls, um, but not using very much marini and getting a really great texture. So these two are 96. 96 I didn't have frit, so I made the frit balls cutting up um, squares of glass, which means we don't have many, many tiny, tiny frit balls that we've used in this. And it kind of makes it slightly trickier to really get them close together. Um, I quite like it as a different thing. The, the, the contrasting colour underneath shows through. So it'll be really interesting to see how each one works. If you zoom in on the, this, you can see we've used the roses, which are really kind of, um, it's a really subtle use of marini, which I like as well. Um, we also had some um, blue ones we could have used instead, but I kind of like it with the roses and the, the, the subtle um, uh, the subtlety of it. So um, these are two we've done with 96 to show how you could use this, do this project with both 90 and 96. So here these are out of the kiln. I think these are kind of fun and funky. They're like poppy. Um, I, I think they're great. I haven't done glue bales on them yet. I'm not quite sure exactly how I'm going to use them. I might even cut some of them up um, and grind the edges to sort of, you know, sort of reveal the edges. But I kind of wanted to show it to you as a, as a quick idea and I'd love to see what other people do with it and what their ideas is to do with it because it's kind of fun. Um, and they can make kind of cool pieces of jewellery. They'd be great for microwave kilns, this one. I think it's an easy project you could do in there. Um, and, uh, you know, we'd love to see what everyone comes up with their ideas for it. Um, I hope you've liked this YouTube video. It's a short, kind of quick, snappy one, but I think it's been good. And um, I can look forward to seeing you next time. It's easier.